everybody, welcome back to another episode of, well, not just me, but us on the Ball Rocket Gaming server. I am actually up, back. Everybody? I'm finally back. Yay, Yankee's back. Yay. What the hell happened to you? Jesus, man. I died. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh wait. Um, you what now? <laughs> You're not a zombie, are you? Just, just stay over there. No. Wait, wait, where are you going? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, buddy. It's been a long time. I don't want to get a chance to catch up with you since you're finally back. Yankee oh, yeah. uh, kind of disappeared. If anybody's actually watched uh, the early episodes of uh, my channel, um, I've done actually a few with uh, this bloke. He's actually one of the people that uh, was first on board with doing a lot of the train crap. He figured out a lot of the logistics uh, for the unloading, loading aspects. Um, and then when he stepped away, Talk stepped in and kind of dived into the rail systems and whatnot. I've just kind of been this floating entity kind of filling in gaps where I can. Um, but anyways, god damn it, man. I, it, it, seriously, it's been way too fucking long. Yeah. Ooh, pardon me. a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> pardon me. I'm just so happy. I just can't control myself. Um, wait, wait. Aren't our, aren't our channels PG? The there's, there's supposed to be. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kids, I did not say that. Shh. <laughs> anyways. Um... Yeah, so like I said, guys, it, it's it's fantastic. Yankees finally back to actually do a little bit of recording. As a matter of fact, uh, Yankees finally gotten his blown the dust off his channel and has actually started recording again. So, kudos for that. Of course, your last episode, you sound like a squirrel. Yeah, I need to fix the audio on that. Um, <laughs> something about recording in OBX and then putting it into uh, Windows whatever you want to call it, the movie maker. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's, it's just no bueno all the way around. So. Yeah, poor quality, poor quality studio there, man. You got to go, go out and get something better. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm just going to have to break down and go buy some editing software. So. Hmm? I will say, as much as I don't like uh, you know per-monthly kind of things, it actually, because of the cost, it actually makes it pretty affordable to uh to do adobe because they do like a, i think it's like 20 bucks a month for having access to adobe premiere so well, something doable really? yeah it's about 20 20 I don't know, 23 or something like that but anyways um but yeah so it's, it's an option but uh that said your channel is back and you do have the first uh reboot episode of your lp and guys you want to talk about somebody who's devoted this bloke here actually lost his uh, LP world, and instead of saying, <laughs> hey guys, look, it's a new world, yay, because I lost the old one, let's start over, he actually sat there and, and went through and painstakingly tried to rebuild not only his world to the current point that it was, but sat there looking through video and trying to figure out what was in the chest, what was in his inventory. You're insane, my friend. You, sir, are very much insane. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I mirrored it all the way across. So. I, you know what? You, you should have taken some time to actually just spawn random chunks of stone in and beaten your pick against it to make sure it was broken down to just the right amount of damage. Shameful. Mm, yeah, that, that was just no. a half. No. <laughs> so, I, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. I, I, well, you live in Texas. But anyways. I, <laughs> anyways. I, I do not claim that. <laughs> Uh, in addition to the LP world, obviously you're back on here on our wonderful server. Um, what I else? Am, I am. What else? Um, well, I, as you said, my channel is back. Um, I do have the episode five, I guess it would be. Yeah, episode five is up. It's on there. Um, I, I need to fix that audio. But uh, <laughs> yes, leave it. it sounds <laughs> great. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, what I want to do is, um, like a server multiplayer. Uh huh. Like, I mean, we obviously have the server here, so might as well record our episodes, right? Exactly. And and I also want to, if you're interested, I'm, I'd like to get another server going. Um, Competition? Of, out, no. Are you, are you trying to me out? <laughs> out of my own pocket for uh, like a crash landing. Um, Ha 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 hells yeah. <laughs> I am totally down for that. And that's this is actually one of the things I've kind of been looking into is kind of just something else to change things up. Because I, I love our server as much as I haven't had time to work on it, uh, for other reasons we'll get into later. Um I, I I seriously I love our server to death and 
but I need a break sometimes. And something like Crash Landing looks like a fan. I've watched quite a few episodes from like Etho and all of them. It looks like a fun, fun game, and I like it because it's kind of those things like you get a couple guys together and we can we can like really do a lot in a short period of time kind of thing. Exactly. That's exactly the thought that I had because I was like, well, I really like the pack, but I don't want to do another series by myself. Yeah, grindy, grindy, no. But yeah, you, you get some guys get hilarities and Sue, have some fun with that. And I like it too because there's kind of a, yeah, you kind of pick an end point. Like we're going to go up to X point and then that's it. We're done. You know, we, we've, we've done all the quests or we've completed this task, whatever. And we can move on maybe to the next, you know, whatever crash landing style uh, kind of the thing is and kind of move on to that. So I kind of like that idea. So um, <clears throat> before we get too much further into this, we're kind of standing around here and looking at ourselves with holding wool in our hands. <laughs> we're supposed to be doing something today, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are. What was oh, – oh, oh, yes. I forgot. Losing my damn mind today. Actually, today we're going to be uh, – <laughs> while, while, we're, while we're talking catching up here, because we got a lot of catching up to do, uh, I actually uh, asked Yankee to jump on with me because one of the things I've been meaning to get around to, besides eating before I kill myself, hi, uh, <laughs> is I actually want to get around to doing the um, the Ball Rocket gaming logo on top of this hill here. And I've, I've, I've had this plan since this server first came online. I've wanted to do this, and I just – it's getting around to it that's absolutely killed me. And the original thought I had was actually putting Bottle Rocket Gaming across here. And with the letters being, you know, 14 blocks tall and, you know, 6, 8 blocks wide, that would be a really, f <laughs> really big logo. So Yankee talks some sense into me. We're actually going to just do the, uh, the BRG uh, insignia right here. So we'll have a B, an R, and a G. That sounds pretty simple, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be we're gonna be building that while we talk here. So we're we're gonna try to, as as JMB so lovingly puts it, uh, try to chew bubble gum and uh, walk at the same time here. <laughs> <laughs> so you got you got your LP, you got the server, you've got uh, uh, the desire to do a uh, a server short, I guess you could call. It. I don't know, uh, but the crash landing uh, thing. Um, right, the crash landing. I just I just didn't want to do it by myself, and I know people like, well, Direwolf20 and Pahamar, of course, are doing theirs, mm -hmm. but I want more than just, you know, two people. I agree with you. I would love to get some of the people on. Do you have any ideas on who you want to uh, try to pin down for that? Uh, I highly doubt he's going to want to, because he's already doing his own LP, but uh, maybe Ruark, uh, maybe if we can talk <laughs> talks into it. I think that would be hilarious. Because, you know, no, no, nothing but good quality entertainment, clean entertainment can come from us trying to survive in crash landing with Ruark. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen this man play. <laughs> there will be no G-rated for any of our episodes. <laughs> nope. I, I, I could probably do a 20-minute episode of just him swearing and cursing constantly. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to try to do the R here because if that's the middle of the logo, that's the middle of the road right there. So we'll see if we can't do the R uh, segment here while we talk. Um, well, that's fantastic. I, and I agree with you. I, I would, so I'd love to have talks on Ruark. Um, I'm not sure if BDA has got any time in his life, but you know, if he does, uh, that would be fantastic too. I mean, really, if we can get any of the other BRGers in to jump on and play and record, I think it would be just awesome. I I absolutely agree. I you you will get, you will get no argument from me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's something I'm looking forward to, and that's uh, obviously is, I'm I'm on board. So that'd be something I can add to my channel here. Um, in addition to that, I've done a couple episodes. Well, tried to do a couple episodes of um, uh, loadout with uh, Tox and uh, uh, BDA. Uh, recordings got all kinds of monkey. I was just transitioning over to uh, OBS recording instead of uh, um, uh, what was I using? Fraps. Uh, Fraps is not bad. Don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, it's I am. You know what? I'm it's I am. Well, it, it, it's not. It's not even so much as touchy. I have my times where they were kind of just randomly crashed, which kind of sucks. 
Uh, but more so over, what really kind of kills me is that uh, it is a it is a a storage hog like nobody's business. I mean, you record in fraps. It is there's no compression. There's no on the fly uh, dealing with it. It is just straight up the biggest pile of. Uh, a, a video you're gonna have. I mean, I, I run I run my videos on a 225, uh, oops, a 225 uh, uh, gigabyte hard drive SSD, so it's nice and quick and easy and whatnot. And the problem with that is, is that it ends up turning into you know, 10 minutes of recording. And I'm damn near full. <laughs> so yes, yeah, it'll work a little better, but I had some problems. Uh, but anyway, so those are like those are not anything like a series or anything like that, but they are. Uh, Something I want to do one, you know, now and then have a little fun. Um, I have no idea how tall this is supposed to be. I'm just kind of, kind of waiting here. I've, I've got a picture of when I did this last time, so I'm trying to figure that out <laughs> as we go. Um, I'm just kind of sitting back, going, mm. "Hey, hey, you got, you got the, you got the memo, man. You got the picture. You should, you should be able to do that side of this art, no problem." Um, no, but uh, so I've done that. Um, I'm also. Uh, doing a little bit of uh, Gmod uh, with uh, Ruark and some of the guys from uh, Project Singularity. Uh, the I heard about that. I, yeah, I think it was actually you talking about that the other day, and uh, yeah. I haven't actually seen that mod yet. I, I can certainly look I it up. Look There's plenty it. of people. I recommend uh, like uh, watching Good, for example, because he's uh, he's doing a Gmod uh, uh, prop hunt. Um, but Gmod is basically a, a sandbox. Uh, Sandbox game, if you will, that runs off of the God. I don't remember. Runs off some other uh, gaming engine, and then people have used that base to create games like Prop Hunt, where you have a team of people who go out and they can basically click on an item, a chair, a plant, whatever, as a prop, and try to hide out in plain sight and not get killed, basically. And then you've got the hunters that have <laughs> you know so many shots before they're dead to try to blow away the props. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it, it's fun, and of course, again, because it's Ruark on the channel, and just because it's Gmod, um, there is there there are certainly comments that uh, that fly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm doing I'm doing some episodes that I actually do some more recording. I've already done some. I need to get the edited still, and of course, we're gonna do some more afterwards. Um, I did start recording uh, uh, Starcraft Two, however, uh, I haven't had a chance to really edit it and get around to it. <laughs> So I will get around to that at some point. I do want to do that. It's kind of my one, my one solo play game right now. So I'm just kind of burning through StarCraft II, doing the different levels, having some fun with the, uh, uh, what do they call it, the, um, the, I can't think today, the single player uh, thing you go through, the cinema, cinematic and uh, uh, training type videos. But anyways, I ramble. I apologize. Yep. Um, so yeah, but that was that. That's really cool because Rook actually was very kind to uh, gift me the the needed supplies for uh, G mods, a couple of different pieces of uh, games you need to make that work. So he he gifted that to me. So I get to play with them. Um, and then on top of that, uh, he also uh, gifted me um, uh, space engineers, which I've been kind of giddy oh, about nice. wanting to try yeah i i really want to try that game a lot so that was that was kind Ooh, of a giddy if you thing. do any recording with that let me know i have space engineers as well oh sweet yeah i i kind of want to start a server up but um i i'm a little bit overwhelmed with things i'm trying to get done right now <laughs> so i haven't no, i haven't had the me, i understand that <laughs> it tends to get in your way when you're trying to do stuff it, it really does it really really does oh my dear god how in Two, three. That's what's there. One, I two. I have three. no idea what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a day. <laughs> well, look at the picture, man. <laughs> I, I can't tab back and forth. I'm sorry. Oh, I see how it is. All right. You know what? Un unfortunately, right now I'm stuck on a laptop, so I can't really take, swap back and forth. Take a picture with your mind, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much kind of what I'm up to right now on my channel. Uh, so I'm 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 excited because it's it's a lot of new stuff and um, I really haven't been too active on the channel and that's that's primarily because uh, I have been working on a lot of uh, server side stuff and and planning and whatnot. Um, server news wise, just because you haven't been on in a while, um, 
And you, you, you kind of missed him. We had Snow Snow Wolf uh, join us for a little while, and he kind of went MIA for a while. But I just got a message from him saying he's going to be coming back. So people who oh, love nice. uh, Snow Wolf, he'll be back on with us. And actually, really good timing, too, because we have a lot of cool stuff awesome. coming up. Um, but also, we've got uh, BDA. He started to build a, a new city, a game world, a uh, game land kind of place uh, way out far far to the north. Um, however, he's kind of kind of uh, petered a little bit on it simply because, A, he's got his map making that he's doing right now. He's actually doing a map making uh, um, channel uh, 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 series. And he's actually taking uh, the old Cranky Craft Labyrinth map they all started working on together and is actually finishing it. And he's using updating it for command blocks 1.8 and making it so that basically it's a Labyrinth uh, PvP, Team P PvP, um, and it's basically a map that the map can change, and um, all of the dispensers you run through can change on every single game. The armor can be changed every single game, etc. It's completely uh, amorphic uh, uh, game map. So that's really neat. And the best part about that, that is... Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm ecstatic about that. Um but the best part about that is he says that uh, we're going to get uh, first dibs here to uh, play on it. Oh, nice. And actually, that's going to be happening uh, in November here, because in November, we are starting up our first uh, new media event. We're actually going to be getting a whole bunch of uh, uh, new media YouTubers together, hopefully. I've uh, been talking to a lot of people and sending invites out and trying to meet and greet and all that good stuff. And basically, we're, we're basically hosting an event where everybody can come join us for Minecraft mini games, and we're going to be uh, <clears throat> uh, doing like uh, a whole bunch of whole bunch of mini games um, through November, from November first all the way out through the end here. Um, actually, the I'm definitely going to have to jump on here for that. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm 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 so stoked about it. It's, it's a lot of cool, fun games. Uh, a good many of them for like uh, Seth Bling. If you ever watch his channel, he does a lot of uh, games. So we're gonna be doing uh, November first. We're gonna be doing Super Craft Brothers, uh, and November second, which is gonna be the Sunday, uh, is gonna be Blocks versus Zombies. And that's a fun game. The, the Super Craft Brothers is is just like Super Smash Brothers themed on that, but you have basically abilities or characteristics of the mobs in Minecraft, so you can play a creeper, you can play an Enderman kind of thing. You have different abilities based on nice. that. That's going to be a blast, I think. Um, great Literally. PvP, the more people, the merrier kind of a thing. So we're hoping to get a lot of people to join us for that. We'll be doing these uh, both uh, basically twice, uh, two events per day. So we're starting from noon Pacific Standard Time till uh, 4 o'clock, and then we'll start up again at 6 to about 10 o'clock at night. So we'll try to catch you know, a broad spectrum of time so people can jump on and join us um but then after that we'll be doing uh blocks versus zombies which is uh, kind of like plants versus zombies in minecraft again another seth bling uh great if you will um so looking forward to that as that's, that's gonna be a lot of fun that's good for like you know two to two to three or four players so smaller groups kind of a thing um and just trying to survive the zombie onslaught uh the week after that, it's going to be the 8th and the 9th. That's going to be the building game. I'm looking forward to that because that is a game where you just think up of uh, basically themes to to create ideas from. So like you know, movie movie quotes, for example, is one that they did recently with Seth Bling. And they had like E.T. phone home. Somebody had to physically build something that represented that statement. And then the next person in line would see the build and have to try to guess what that statement was. And then the next person in line would take that statement and build from that. And they'll do it like three times. It's kind of like playing a game of telephone, if you will. Interesting. <laughs> and trying to make sense of it. Okay. And how would how did I something got wrong here? It, a, that is a derpy yeah, R. Definitely looks wrong. <laughs> okay, we're we're off by a line. See, this is what happens when you try to chew bubble gum and walk at the same time, folks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't turn out so well. No, no, it really does not. Okay, that, 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 that. Okay, yep. Okay, so this is go down to here. That's the whole. Yes, yeah, so I, I am, I am so sucky at chewing bubble gum and walking at the same time. It's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that goes up there. That goes back in here. Oh, so we're is just a little bit tall. That's the only problem here. Oh. Uh -huh. So we just gotta cut everything down by a little bit, and we'll be uh, golden. One, two. Is that right? One, two, three, then. 
think that's right. We'll do this, people. It'll be like three episodes, one per letter. <laughs> 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 oh, God, this is sad. Um, yeah, so anyways, like I said, um, the building game, real fun uh, building game, obviously. Um, and then the Sunday after that, uh, which is going to be the ninth is going to be Pizza Spleef. So if you ever played any kind of Spleef games before, that's still derped somehow. Um, if you ever played uh, Pizza Spleef? Pizza Spleef, yes, Pizza Spleef. Interesting. I'd rather think so. Um, basically, it's the same same concept as Spleef. You try to cut out, cut out the ground under the other guy, but uh, this particular one is shaped like a pizza, duh, and it has uh, toppings on it. And those toppings give various either beneficial to you or detrimental uh, effects to others. So it can give other people blindness, it can uh, give you speed, things like that. Um, so again, another another fun uh, Seth Bling game. And something's just still not right about this dang thing. What have I done? <laughs> okay, and that's right there. And then this goes up. Avun, uh, it's really hard to do without the Vajra. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they're not as convenient to take apart there. There we go. That... That is an R. That's an R. Urgh. Scary R. <laughs> All right. Yay! One letter done. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're, we're, we are we are doing really good here, and we're running so long already. Um, I tell you what, guys. I I think we're gonna go ahead and get at least the basis for the uh, next two letters rolling here, and uh, we'll come back with. Uh, the rest of the news on Mog. I'm going to leave you guys hanging here. I saw apologies. Um, and we'll talk about a few little things while we're at it. And uh, go ahead and go from there. So uh, we will be all right back. Welcome back, people. We're done. It was <laughs> kind of surprising how sad it was just to do this, something as simple as pixel art. <laughs> I'm just well, not... when, you, when you haven't really worked on pixel art before kind of goes slow yeah and distraction and all that you know it is what it is but uh yes yeah, so we got a little brg logo here we decided to make it super super simple just a brg logo i wouldn't mind putting the little ball rocket in front of it but uh that's you know small things angles minecraft not really working so uh yeah yeah so um Yankee, my friend, uh, just to do a quick uh, um, quick catch up here. When we started talking about a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff going on, there's a bunch of other games uh, for the Mog event that's coming up. And again, this is the the, the mini games as part of the new media event. Um, we talked about Pizza Spleef, Pizza Spleef last. We're also gonna have uh, Cluster Chunk, which is a PvP uh, game. Look it up. Uh, there's a couple of videos on you know, people playing it. It's really really fun. Um, there's Minecraft Bingo, which is an epically fun game. It is exactly the sounds you get dropped into a new world, and you compete against other people with a bingo card to try to make all the items you need or find all the items you need on the bingo card to make a, uh, you know, five across, five down, five at, five, uh, at an angle, whatever it is. Um, that actually sounds cool. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. And it, it, the great thing about it, too, is you can play it even solo. Uh, they now have, have added uh, the ability for you to basically set a seed which will set the the card you get and everything in place so that you can basically play it solo and then post it and other people can take the same seed and kind of compete against you for a timeline or a time trial um cool so that's all the servers we'll be hosting after that we're going to probably most likely do a day of fun on the hypixel and or uh play minecraft servers they have a lot of fun games these are big giant huge servers that Thousands of people are on playing a lot of different mini games, and then we're going to uh, uh, wrap up the last of our uh, Mog event with a first look at the uh, Creaky Craft Labyrinth that uh, talked about uh, BDA working on. So we're actually get a chance to actually play on his map. So that'd be an epically fun thing. Um, awesome. So all of that is meant to be a. Uh, uh, just kind of some some fun stuff to do for all the YouTubers. We are going to have uh, a couple new people joining us um, just for the event, uh, for those mini games, uh, some other YouTubers. Um, hopefully we'll get some more people replying. We will have, I've had a couple of people from Cranky, the former Cranky Craft, now Project Singularity, 
uh, group that said they definitely would love to join us. We'll have a few other people there. So we'll have a chance to mix and mingle a little bit. Um, and then uh, just to wrap up the month of November and the uh, new media new media month, if you will, uh, we're going to be doing a uh, Ball Rocket open house uh, November 29th and the 30th from about uh, noon to about 10 o'clock at night here. We're actually going to take our world here. We're going to open it up to everybody to come join us and take a tour around the place. So people are actually going to be able to jump on our server with us, meet and greet the actual BRGers that play on here, uh, be able to look around, see things, and just, do, again, general chat and uh, get to know us. So that's going to be... pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it'll be pretty fun. People get a chance to actually see things up close and personal, so to speak, and see how things work. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, again, the the whole new media event is really meant to be a opportunity to get new uh, new faces in front of you to get a chance to meet and greet and network. Um, uh, literally, just get a chance to meet new people. And this isn't just uh, video content creators like you and I. This is a lot of different people. I mean, for the BRG group alone, we're, we're kind of unique. We have a kind of a spread of people. We've got Matt Makers being BDA, who also does videos. We've got Turgo, who is a, a mod pack designer, along with uh, me helping him. We've got you and I, and Tox, and Snow Wolf, and BDA, and Ruark, who are all uh, video creators, content creators. Um, we even have Seshi, who actually does music. She's actually a uh, composer. And uh, she's going to be doing uh, some new music for uh, my channel in the new season coming up in the new year for the new mod pack. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to have uh, a whole bunch of stuff here. So it'll be a chance for, you know, again, meet new people, possibly even start some new collabs. Um, and, and, you know, for the people, maybe they want to try to get some channel art or get some music for their channel, etc. So this will be a good opportunity to get everybody kind of mingling together. I don't expect it to be a huge, huge turnout, obviously. It's our first time, our first event. Um, but I hope to learn from it. I hope to host more new media events like this and get a chance to do a lot more stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the new media aspect of it. And uh, uh, as I said a little earlier, we do have our new mod pack. We're still working on it. Yankee has been very kind to actually spend a little time actually playing with our new uh, mod pack that we are lovingly calling Cherry Bomb at the moment. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a, uh, a working name or if it's going to be just a temp name. But um, our pack right now is still just a core pack. Yankee's done a quick jump in and, and tested a few things, given some input. We've already... Uh, change a whole bunch of configuration files for that core pack where we get that kind of lined out and we'll start adding all the other fun stuff. We are really, really, sorry, really... <laughs> sorry? <laughs> I made him change all the configs. I'm sorry. No, no. no Yankee, Yankee is, is epic. He got on and, and literally within 10 minutes of jumping on, it's like, oh yeah, it, this sucks. You need to get rid of this. Blah, blah, blah. He just started going down the line. It was, it was actually beautiful because... I have been. I have not had time to do any recording. I, I have been so busy with the new media planning, with trying to help Turgo with the mod pack. It's nice to have somebody else come in and help us out, man. So I really do appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. So, um, yes, yeah, so we've got the new mod pack coming along. Um, we hope to have a beta server up um, starting beginning of December. So as soon as we're done with the new media event and the open house, we'll have the uh, hopefully have the test server up. Um, and we're hoping to have this out by January. Now, I like to have it right at the beginning of January, but realistically, as always, you know, it takes time to tweak a mod pack. So we'll see. But that's kind of the goal here. And then we'll have uh, a new world to go from it. And as I said before, this world will remain here. We'll still have a server hosting it for as long as the people on here want to leave it up. I, I have quite a few builds, like the power plant that I do really want to finish. So... I want my getting that done before we go. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, my friend? You got any other uh, to-do lists or things you want to see happen before we uh, bail out? On this map? Mm, yeah. See this thing on top of my roof over here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to see the yeah. trees go away? <laughs> I want to see them go away. <laughs> the bad fungus outbreak. <laughs> You got mold in your roof, man. <laughs> it, it's been great, but uh, it'll be nice to see the power self-sustained, and then we can implement that on the new server if we go that direction. So. Yeah, if we if we get everything uh, kind of spec down tight, that'd be really epic. Um, 
I'm looking forward to it. Um, just so you guys know, there's a lot of cool stuff coming in the new server pack, new mods. A lot of the old mods are renewed with a lot of new different things. One of the things I am so, so, so excited about is Railcraft. You guys know I love Railcraft. And Covert Jaguar has just added electric uh, locomotives. So I am... I'm... Um, um jumping up and down about that one. Oh my god i awesome. i am so, go go to covert covert jaguar's channel this guy is awesome he's created real craft is epic you've got to see the new electric uh um uh, electric motors they are they are awesome they're absolutely awesome i'm ecstatic and he even hinted at working on diesel locomotives Oh, nice. <laughs> yes! So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we certainly do appreciate the time, and as always, uh, please do leave a like down below if you liked our uh, wonderful little monologue here <laughs> with me and, and <laughs> Yankee trying to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> yeah, shut up for five minutes. I know. I'm sorry. I, I'm a chatterbox, and Yankee's polite, so it kind of works out like this. <laughs> um. No, definitely, guys, uh, yeah, let us know what you like and don't like. Obviously, this is a little bit of a talky episode because uh, we're catching up on things. Yankee's finally back and hopefully back for a little longer than usual. Um, I certainly do want to try oh, to... I, <laughs> I don't <laughs> plan on jumping in a truck and driving over the road anytime soon, so I should be back. Yeah, that's a, that's actually a good thing. Well, anyways, I, I won't go into the personal life aspect, but yes, <laughs> hopefully Yankee will be more available now. Um Dude, I'm look. I'm still looking forward to working with you some more on projects. Even though, you know, it, it's hard to stay motivated on the server when we know another one's coming. But there are some fun things I still like to be able to work out and just have fun, kind of using it as a test server, if you will, to kind of see what works and what doesn't. So when we go into the new server, we got a better idea of what's what's to come. That'd so, nice. yeah, so I, I'm I'm looking forward to that. As always, peoples, if you have any questions, curiosities, or comments, please do feel free to leave them down below here. Um, however, if you really want to have a dynamic conversation and actually talk with us, then I highly recommend that you uh, head on over to uh, Ball Rocket Gaming website, www.ballrocketgaming.com, and go ahead and uh, get yourself signed up on there. Anybody is certainly welcome to join the, the uh, website and chatter in our groups and our forums and see the events coming up. Um, so I definitely encourage you to head over that way. That's a good way to chat at us and get some replies back from us so uh as always thank you again we appreciate it yankee thanks for watching we'll catch you guys next time bye